Hello and welcome. Game theory in operations research and dominance rule. Now we have a higher order game, 4 by 4. And as we can see that this game has no saddle point. So we need to, or rather the players need to play with mixed strategy. But we know that in case of mixed strategy, we need to solve the game through algebraic method or any other method, say formula method or arithmetic method. And for that purpose, we need a game of lower order, order 2 by 2. And this is the game of order 4 by 4. So first we need to use the dominance rule and to reduce the game to lower possible order. Either, uh, I mean, two, 2 by 2. This case, discussion of this case is totally on the use of dominance rule. So, in detail, I am going to discuss the dominance rule and I am going to write something which you will not find in the reference book, in the written form. You have to read long, long explanations. And sometimes going through the whole solution and whole such long, long notes, you may not be able to understand a few things. I want to clear all these things. I want to make it as easy as possible. So I am going to write something which generally is not found in written form. Okay. To use the dominance form, we are starting with player A. And we are going to check the dominance of one or more strategies at a time. Let's compare A1 and A2 for the purpose of dominance. A is believed to be a gainer, so these payoffs are treated as gain. And if any strategy has more gain throughout the all strategies of the competitor, then it can be a dominating strategy. Let's compare A1 and A2. A1, 3 and 3, A2 equal. A1, 2, A2, 4. So A2 dominates. A1, 4, A2, 2. Here A1 dominates. So no continuous dominance. So we can conclude that there is no dominance. In all possibilities, a strategy should be dominating. Now let's compare A1 and A3. 3, 4, A3 dominates. 2, 2 equal, so we can say that A3 dominates. 4, 4 equal, so that we can say that A3 dominates. 0, 0, again A3 dominates. On the basis of this first, A3 dominates. So A1 is dominated by A3. So we can delete A1. Okay. Now let's compare A2 and A3. 3, 4, A3 dominates. 4, 2, A2 dominates. So no dominance under different strategies of the competitor. Different strategy of gainer dominates. So there is no dominance. Let's compare A3 and A4. 4, 0, A3 dominates, 2, 4, A4 dominates. So, no dominance. So, the conclusion is we can delete A1. Okay, let's delete and write a new game. Player A, the gainer. Player B, the loser. And these strategies are all for B1, B2, B3, B4. But A strategies are now only A2, A3 and A4. 3, 4, 0. 4, 2, 4. 2, 4, 0. And 4, 0, 8. In the same way, we are going to compare the payoffs of all strategies of B. But now we have to be alert because B is believed to be a loser. So we are comparing losses. So the strategy with lower loss will be in dominating situation. Okay? Yes. 
Now let's compare A, sorry, B1 and B2. Lower loss in B1, lower loss in B2. So no continuous dominance of any one. Let's compare B1 and B3. B1, 3, B3, 2. So B3 dominates. 4, 4 equals, so B3 dominates. 0, 0 equals, B3 dominates. Yes, B1 is dominated by B3. I am going to repeat. Loss in case of B1 is 3, in case of B3 is 2. So lower loss in case of B3, so B3 dominates. Or B1 is dominated by 3. In case of next, loss are equal. So again, still B3 dominates. In case of this also, losses are same or there is no loss in case of both the strategies. So again, in all, B3 is going to give lower loss against B1. So, B1 is dominated by B3. On the basis of this comparison, we can say that we can write off B1. Because B is never going to select B1. It is better to select B3 against B1. Let's compare B2 and B3. B2 loss 4, B3 loss 2. Lower loss in case of B3. In this case, B3 dominates. But in this case, loss 2 is <coughs> with B2 and 4 is with B3. So in this case, B2 dominates. No continuous dominance of any one strategy. So no dominance. And last comparison, B3 and B4. 2, 4. B3 dominates. 4, 0. B4 dominates. So no dominance okay now we conclude that b1 to be deleted b is never going to select b1 new game will be player a the gainer player b the loser and now only three strategies of b B2, B3, B4 and three strategies of A, A2, A3, A4, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 0 and 4, 0, 8. Now what? Because we have already made all possible comparisons. Again, what happens? A2 dominates, A3 dominates. So, A2, A3, no dominance. A2, A4, equal. A2 dominates, A4 dominates. So, no dominance. A3 and A4. A3 dominates. A3 dominates but A4 dominates. So no continuous dominance. Now what? In this situation we cannot delete any of the rows or any of the strategy of A the gainer. Then what to do? Now let's compare A2 with the average of A3 and A4. Average of A3 and A4. What happens? Average of A3 and A4, 2 plus 4 by 2, that is 3, 4 plus 0 by 2, that is 2, and 0 plus 8 by 2, that is 4. 3, 4, A2 dominates, 2, 2 equal, 4, 4 equal. So A2 dominates against A3 and A4, so we cannot delete A2 on this ground. I think it is better to check now for columns because still we need to remove one column B2 and B3 lower loss is in case of B3 so B3 dominates but in this case lower loss is in case of B2 so now B2 dominates so no continuous dominance of any one strategy let's compare B2 and B4 Same loss, lower loss in case of B4, lower loss in case of B2, so no continuous dominance. Now, 
V3 and V4. Lower loss in case of B3. Lower loss in case of B4. Again, no dominance. So we cannot remove any of the three strategies of B. Let's again check B2 and average of B3 and B4. Two plus four divided by two three. Four plus zero divided by two is two, and zero plus eight divided by two is four. Three and four. Yes. A two is rather B two is dominated by the average of B three and B four. Two and two again. We can say that B two is dominated by B three and B four on this ground. 4 and 4 again these two are actually equal but on the basis of the first b2 is dominated by average of b3 and b4 b2 is dominated by b3 and b sorry by average of b3 and b4 and very sorry average of b3 And B four on this ground we can delete B two. Yes, on this ground we can delete B two. Yes. So let's write the new game. Player A. Gainer, player B, loser. We believe that okay B three and B four, A two, A three, A four. It will be two four zero four zero eight. Okay, let's compare A two with A three. A two, A three, A three dominates, but A A two, A three, but A two dominates. So no continuous dominance. A two and A four comparison. Two zero, so A two dominates. Four eight, A four dominates. So no continuous dominance in all the cases. Let's compare A three and A four. It is somewhat lengthier, but I want to make it as easy as possible for you people to understand. That's why I am going to write all these things. A three and A four, four zero, A three dominant, zero eight, A four dominant. So no dominance. So again, let's compare A two with the average of A three and A four. Four plus zero divided by two is two. Zero plus eight divided by two is four. A two average two. A four average four. So we can say that A two is dominated by average of A three and A four because A two is not going to give any greater gain against the average gain of A three and A four. So A would not prefer. To use strategy A two, A two is dominated by the average of A three and A four. So we delete strategy A two. This is very strange point. Please try to accept it, understand it, accept it, because as a rule you just need to follow this. And the new reduced gam will be four zero zero eight. Now the original gam 
time which was in order of 4 by 4 is now in the order of 2 by 2. So by using dominance rule we reduce the order of the game to 2 by 2 from 4 by 4. Now this is the game of 2 by 2 and as we know that it has no settle point. Now it is your assignment, it is an exercise for you first to check the situation of settle point of this game of 2 by 2 then solve this game by any of the three methods which you have already learned in the previous lectures either algebraic method or formula method or arithmetic method but please don't use only the arithmetic or shortcut method to solve this game as a student you should learn the algebraic method as well as the formula method also so I suggest you to solve this game by all the three methods and compare the results they must be the same in all the three cases so this was dominance rule that's it thank you very much